set a music alarm at 7 a.m.? Sure. And what music would you like me to play? Morning Mood. Good morning, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you, and I wanna start off by asking you a question. How late were you to work today? If you have an answer for that, let me introduce you to alarms with your Google Home. Now, there are two different types of alarms that you can set on your Google Home. One is you can set general alarms, where it will just wake you up with the normal alarm sound, but now there's a new media alarms where you can have the Google Home wake you up with music. And today I'm gonna to show you all the commands that you can do to be able to use these different functions. So first, to set an alarm, all you would need to do is say, hey Google, set an alarm tomorrow at 7 a.m. Done, your alarm set for tomorrow at 7 a.m. Then you can also label alarms. Hey Google, set a school alarm tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. All right, your alarm called school is set for tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. And then if you wanna find out what alarms you have tomorrow, you can say, hey, what alarms do I have tomorrow? You have an alarm for tomorrow at 7 a.m. and an alarm called school set for tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. If you would like to set an alarm that goes off every day of the week, you would just need to give a command like this. Hey Google, set an alarm every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Done, your alarm set on weekdays at 8 a.m. Pretty simple, you could also ask it to do every day of the week or certain days of the week. If you wanna cancel a specific alarm, you would say, hey, Cancel my school alarm. All right, consider it canceled. There you go, it has now been removed. If you would like to see a list of all the alarms that you have, you just need to head on over to the Google Home application on your Android or your iOS device. Go into the Devices tab, and you'll need to go to the Google Home where you actually set up that device. So here I am in the Office Speaker. I just need to select the menu and then go into settings and go down to alarms and timers. And here it will show all the alarms and timers that I have and I can easily cancel them by clicking the X. If you would like to adjust the volume of these general alarms, you would do that in the Google Home app as well. Right here you have the slider where you can increase or lower the volume of all of the alarms that you will receive. So then on the Google Homes, you can also touch to stop the alarm. So on the Google Home Mini, all I need to do is touch the volume and that will turn off the alarm or I could activate it and then say stop. If you are using a regular Google Home, you just need to touch the top. And if you're using the Google Home Max, you would touch the top or you can touch the right side as well. If you would like to know all the alarms that you have set, you can just use the command, hey Google, what alarms are set? You have an alarm for tomorrow at 7 a.m. and an alarm on weekdays at 8 a.m. There you go, pretty simple. When an alarm goes off, you can activate the Google Home and then tell it to snooze, and the default will snooze for 10 minutes, but you could also say snooze for five minutes, snooze for an hour, whatever you wanna do, but you can have it snooze, which is pretty great to delay that alarm. Those are most of the commands that you can use with the Google Home to control your alarm. Now, you heard that tone there. That is the only alarm tone that you will have on the Google Home. Now let's talk about media alarms. With a media alarm, you are able to set certain media, music, or radio at a certain time so that it will start playing. So if in the morning you like a certain soundtrack to play, you can have it play. Or maybe you want a certain radio station to start playing, you can do that as well. Now when you request music, you can request song, album, artist, or even the playlist to play, which is pretty awesome. To set up a media alarm, you would just need to say that you wanna set up a media alarm, and then the time, and it will ask you what type of alarm you wanna set up. Hey Google, set a music alarm for 7 a.m. Okay, and what music would you like me to play? Wake me up by wham. Actually, there's already an alarm set for then. Excellent, and it'll also tell you if there's an alarm, and if you want to cancel those alarms and cancel every alarm, you just can say, hey Google, cancel all alarms. Sure, it's canceled. Hey Google, set a music alarm for 7 a.m. Okay, and what music would you like me to play? Wake Me Up by Wham. Got it, I'll play the song Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go for tomorrow at 7 a.m. So there you go, that's how easy it is to set an alarm. And then when the alarm goes off, it will just simply play that music. 
And you can also set other types of alarms like different radio or maybe news stations that you want to listen to. Hey Google, set a media alarm at 8 a.m. All right, and what would you like me to play? My 99.5. There, I'll play my 99.5 radio for tomorrow at 8 a.m. And then when the alarm goes off, you'll hear the music and you can easily stop it by touching the side, touching the top, or just asking the Google Home to stop. Now, when you want to control the volume on the Google Home for the media alarm, it will actually use whatever the volume is set at on the Google Home. So if I change the volume right here, that is going to change the media alarm volume. So just like when you play music and you need to ask the Google Home to turn it up, turn it down, set the volume at 50%, that is the type of alarm that will go off. So if you have like night mode enabled, where in the morning it's really low volume, it won't play very loud. So that might be helpful, or you may want to adjust your night mode settings so that it will play much louder and it will definitely wake you up. Now, when you do have the alarm go off, you could also set the snooze or snooze for later, and then it will wake you up at the certain time. Now last, I wanna mention that when you set an alarm and for some reason your Google Home cannot connect to a Wi-Fi network, it will not play the media alarm. It will just play the general alarm sound. And that is about all the things that you need to know about setting alarms with your Google Home, whether it be general or media alarms. Now, if you know anyone else with a Google Home, make sure you share this video with them as it will maximize the potential of what their Google Home can do. And if you'd like to learn more about the Google Home, make sure you click on a playlist over here on the side. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new videos where I talk all about your smart home to your smartphone. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.